Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. So here we have the Warrant. It is a new high-performance nameplate for DV8 featuring DOT and Dynamic Core. It has the Captive Low RG Asymmetric Core and the Enforcer SF Hybrid Cover Stock. So this is a new cover stock as well. We've laid this out with a bit of a faster response layout to take advantage of the strength of the core. So why don't we take it to the lanes and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. And he's bowling on an easy house shot. That it is. It is the China. Now, uh, most people don't realize what this ball is. No. It's it's a hidden gem. Yeah. Well, <laughs> with the other two releases, I, I could see how this one would get missed. I mean, both balls were phenomenal with the glam and the... The Intimidator. The Intimidator. Yeah. And this one, you look at it and go, what the heck's that core? Because that just kind of looks like somebody just smashed it's kind of cool together. <laughs> yeah you know the glam had a lot of talk about it because it's the return of the diva yeah and the intimidator is just a really strong good control ball yeah this one's kind of flown over under the radar yeah. it's shinier yep a hybrid yeah a shiny hybrid and yet our speed dominant player here looks pretty good throwing yeah. it he's just rolling it letting all the ball do the work and it's smashing the pocket. Oh, absolutely. You can see that. Wait, look, look at look, look <laughs> wow. on his face. <laughs> he is playing his regular area, someplace he hasn't gotten to play a lot during league, which yeah. is up 10. And you see 10, 10, boom. boom. Even on the left side. <laughs> now, even even in the commercial when they talk about this, um, when it first came out, yeah. they're like, oh, you know, oh, it gets through the heads easy. We're bowling on oil. It doesn't read early. Yeah. When I saw that, I thought, oh, this ball's going to go forever and hook yeah. on a dime. But no, this is a good, strong no. ball. Yeah, exactly. It's mm. not quite a heavy control ball like the um, the Intimidator. No, no. But this is strong. It definitely has pop down lane. It gets through the front clean like they advertise. Yep. But it does have pop down lane. You're not really giving anything up. Like, you can see it when you watch it. It just does that blue spot just kind of whoop. Now it's green on that side. Yep. So... Well, and that's yeah, it's good. It's got a big core in it, big numbers yeah. on it, so you know it's going to flare up. Here yeah. you are throwing it. Now we saw a lot of performance out of our speed dominant player. Now yeah. we've got our match player here, and I feel like this is another one of those adaptive cores because you're throwing in your benchmark yeah, area. Yeah, and I actually get to push it a little bit wide and use the friction and just kind of play around, which is awesome because if I can start out here, mm -hmm. that just means I can move my whole line and myself as I move left and just generate more that way. So you, you mean you actually have room to move? Yeah, exactly. Very <laughs> adaptable, very look at bam. Yeah, a lot of a lot of league bowlers that I've seen they start way too far laterally. The right-handed bowler starting, yeah. you know, their first game against the gutter. Yeah, exactly. That gives them no place to go. Yeah. This ball seems to allow you to play you know, pretty good area. Yeah. I was going to say 12, 12 5, 12 6, 12 7. And we know there's no oil yeah. outside five. No, exactly. So it allows you, you to there. bumper it a little bit. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah, if I were to miss outside, because of how clean and easy it is to generate that length, Yep. that if I did get outside five, it would have to be far down lane. And I'd need it to come off anyway. So you can see that's really Really deep. inside. Wow. And that's in dynamic core. Yeah. <laughs> you can see, though, it still came back. It still had a good yep. motion to it. Yeah, a light carry, but still. Now, you have a little more tilt than most, so this three and three-quarter inch pin uh, that we put on this yeah. pin to pap, it doesn't lose tilt as quickly, so you definitely need some friction for yeah. it, uh, but that solid part of the cover stock seems to be creating that friction. Yeah. Look, now here you are a little farther out. Boom. Boom is right. Yeah, it definitely definitely has, it's easy to play. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. And here I am, and wow. this is what I like about this. You can see I, I'm s I'm f sliding the second last dot. Uh, I'm uh, able to keep this ball pretty tight in the oil. Yeah. Uh, but it still rolls. 
Boom. You see that you know, keeping it that I- in the most concentration so of the so oil. Yeah. I normally I would be worried about a shiny ball, especially a hybrid, yeah. getting any kind of traction and being able to finish through the pins. Well, and being ha- having the potential to throw it through the break point, something yeah. shiny, it's the higher potential. Um, but not this ball. No, no, this ball no. flares so much it reads yeah. that mid lane and just rolls beautifully. You can see, I'm not, I don't have to do much to get it to no. hook. You're just laying it off and rolling it up. Oh man, watch this. A little bit, a little bit wow. farther. You can see Ooh. if you miss outside that that's that hybrid we talk about. Um, I really like hybrids on on sport patterns when they're going to yeah. be flatter. So that you've got a ball that's not going to roll too early, but it's not going to jump left after you leave the pattern. Yeah. And with these new over-under conditions we see from the USB-C with no oil outside, Sorry. yeah. this ball I like because you can see I threw it wide, didn't overread. Yeah. See, this one's in the deep oil, split C8-9. Yeah. You can still see that spin up at the end, yep. just the great reaction. The next one here. A little bit wider. Still, still you can see, splits. You can see that one. You can see it go down the lane a little bit further before it made the turn yeah. over the other one. It sees the friction. It yeah. rolls without jumping. And then... Yeah. Yeah. I'm wow. really impressed. This is the hidden gem of the new releases for DV8. You've got to check this one out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.